to the blog. If you're just joining us, thank you for joining us. Remember, it's still your number one talk show on TV. My name is Aya Thompson, and of course, I have Edewo with us. Yeah. And right. we promised you a guest. <laughs> we have a very special guest with a song we just played for you a few mm. minutes ago. You might be able to guess who our guest is this afternoon. Yes, he is not just the Opimo Kuna, he's also the Bunibe Kuna. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make very welcome. Obi-Wan! Obi-Wan! You thought Obi-Wan? You like Obi, the name I, Obi. I, I know Bimo is so much in your in your heart. So. Obi-Wan? No, you're not Obi-Wan, Obi-Ora. Obi, Obi. Yes, Obi-Ora, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. So, yeah. Obi -wan. Obi -wan. so yeah. why do you like Obi? Thank you for inviting me. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're very yeah, welcome. Yeah, it's yeah, good yeah. to have you. I love your chat, your you know, ensemble. Looking on shot. Yeah. Looking on shot. More than some people I know in this you know audience. Yeah, looking on shot. Is this what you guys do all the time? Time, no, shower. really, I just don't like a devil on my, you know, on our show. It's, it's, it's just like that, you know, when, uh, when people see people who are big, you always have people who just hate. <laughs> you know you guys look alike somehow. <laughs> yeah, I think, ah. I think it's the head. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you didn't have to go there. All right, guys, okay, right. so you're very welcome. Obi you. What's your first name? Is it Obiora or Obiwan? Obiora. Okay, mm. what, is Obiwan your surname or just a nickname? Uh, my my son is a tongue twister. Uh, uh, what is it? What is that? Am I making it seem like uh, Obi Wan is a Monica? Uh, my first name is Obiora, so I, I prefer to be called Obiora Obi Wan. Okay, okay. Obiora Obi Wan. Yes. Nice okay. one. Is it Obi Wan or Obi Wina? W O N Wina. Yeah. I won. Because every time I, I, I the first time I heard Obi Wan, Wina, yeah, well. it took me back to Star Wars. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, it took me more, more or less. More yeah, or less. so there was a bit of that, right? There was... um, I might give out my age by saying this, but it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. I, I was born in the same year the first Star Wars installation came out. How old that's, are you? Wow. That's for Star Wars uh, fans. fans. Yeah. 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 But you're not a woman now. It's women that don't tell their age. I'm 38. That, you look good. Thank you should you. be proud of that. That's, that's lovely. Well done. So I was born the same year, yeah. and I loved Star Wars. Very well. And mm. um, I had an uncle who, you know, we were both shocked to see that um, uh, Star Wars had a character that had uh, an African name inside it, Obi. Obi, yeah. <laughs> okay, so he started calling me Obi Wan. Uh, so when I came out, you know, as a musician, I'm like, yeah, that should be that should be oh, good. that so, should be a good moniker. Mm -hmm. So, so Adele was clever. Of, he was know, able to make the connection. He, yeah, I just thought it was a coincidence. He did. Are you a Star Wars fan? Yes, I am. I'm smart. No, actually, I'm just <laughs> awesome like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we have a lot of stories to get through, so let us just dive okay. straight in. Mm. We have Paul Okoye, we have Skepta, and we also have a final, final reward for a man that everyone was talking about on social media, Leonardo DiCaprio finally won an Oscar. Finally. Mm. Finally. <laughs> Lots of lessons. <laughs> okay, so Paul Okoye of Peace Square unveils new artist. A couple of days ago, Paul Okoye of Peace Square unveiled his latest artist on his record label, Rude Boy Records. Her name is Lucy, and according to a series of photos, she's the first lady. She's a rude gal, and mm -hmm. she is her royal sexiness. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. So for her photo shoot, Lucy strikes a number of sultry poses while styled in a polka dot bikini. Now, the question is, mm. do you have to be half naked to sell in the entertainment industry? Mm. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, do you think? I'm even way, happy that we have the... men here. And I'm yeah, even more, I'm yes, happy let, that uh, we have a musician mm, here. Let uh, Obi-Wan <laughs> take, take that one. Let him take um, the first one. It's fine. Nothing new under the sun. Mm. Mm. Um, but the audience always wants something new. Yes. Um, if you employ the same methods and tactics, mm. I, I always believe your, your, your career might not be as long as you want it to be. Mm -hmm. But if you always bring something different to the table, yeah. you, you will have... Uh, uh, Bob Marley is distinct because he is something different. Uh, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson. They might, they might not have been recognized, yeah. you know, um, at the point in time that they yeah. came out. So I'm always more like, let's, let's take Do it easy different. and let's have some longevity than, you mm -hmm. know, but the entertainment industry nowadays, I mean, if you don't have patience, I mean, you just go for, you know, what sells. So do you think it's people that don't have talent? Because from what I'm inferring from your statement, if you do have talent, there's no need to open your body. Well, that's your inference. <laughs> 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 but what I'm trying to say is, 
There are two, I mean, there's the shortcut and mm. there's the longer route, yes. which mm. is harder mm. and which lasts longer. longer That's yeah. what I believe mm. about the entertainment industry. So, mm. Adele, let me ask you, do, do you think sex sells? Actually, yeah, sex sells. Okay. <laughs> Straight up. We know sex sells. It's the, it's, the, it's the current mentality of entertainment in the world, actually, not just Nigeria. Mm. Everywhere, across the world. Everybody wants to see uh, a girl looking... They, 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 they target sexy, mm. yeah, but sometimes you don't have to be naked to be sexy. You are not actually sexy when you're naked. I have a question for, for, for both of you. Yes, please. Mm. Um, would you like your kids, your children, to go into entertainment? I like music, like if music. They, if like, they have a talent for it, yes. For it, yeah. Okay, so doesn't, it, doesn't this scare you at times? Mm. Yes, I have to agree. Yes. <laughs> well, it does. Doesn't it scare you? I mean, yeah. Let me tell you something. My opinion when I saw the picture was, was irritation and disgust, like for crying out loud. He was not even... See, and there's a way you do something that even when it is bad, you mm -hmm. do it in such a coded manner that people are like, oh, it's tasteful. They it was take... tasteless. For mm. me, you've already sold an image of the girl that this girl is just a sex symbol. Mm. Forget about her music, look at her curves. Mm -hmm. Look at the fact that, why would you release a bikini as a, is that her, how does that tell you that she's a great singer? Oof. I was so annoyed. I was like, what Oof. is that? And he's a married man, I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> but I think that. <laughs> just know. take a cue from Adele, actually. Adele is always covered up. Adele is always Yeah, covered. she's winning the you Grammys. Know, Adele is amazing. She's amazing. You, 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 I mean, you can't remember any part of her skin that you've seen. Just yeah. the face. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but I mean, she just comes out and just sits there and sings, and, and then millions yeah. of records later. Yeah. yeah. You know, but Obi, Obi Wan, have you ever had naked girls in, or half clad girls in your videos as a musician? Yeah. Funny enough, I um, even when I was in secular music, I've always mm. been the kind of. Uh, Squeaky clean, kind of mm. <laughs> sort of. Mm. Uh, about my heart open. Uh, well, yeah, mm -hmm. I've always been that kind of artist, so to say. But I mean, that you know doesn't necessarily mean that that was the life I was living. But mm. you know, but things change. Mm. I mean, mm. yeah. but would you? Were you tempted? Would you say you were tempted? Oh. Because of the industry mm. at that oh, time. Oh come on, so much temptation. There mm. is no. I mean, it's right in your face. So put the brass it's, one. Now, why are you covered it's, up? It's, it's not even, I mean, it's like, um, uh, what, how do I put it now? Mm. Uh, it's like being in a pool of water and you don't want to drink. Mm. So you're, you know, you're so trying you so have, hard yeah, yeah, yeah. to stay. So, <laughs> that's I want to come back to that is. because wow. it's a very valid question, yeah. you know, valid um, question and response because okay. some people are watching out there who want to go into the music industry, mm -hmm. and they feel that, just like our lovely first lady, <laughs> that the only way that you can make it in life and destiny <laughs> is to strip. <laughs> you understand? Mm. So you saying that it's an ocean and you decided not to, and also to find out how lucrative it was for you, mm -hmm. even though you decided not to. Mm -hmm. Because like Adele was said, sex sells. Yeah, Unfortunately, that's Unfortunately, the reality of terrible. things. Okay, so that's it. Do you have to be half naked to sell in the entertainment industry? Let us know your thoughts. We want to read them out on Twitter at Cool TV the blog and on Facebook forward slash Cool TV the blog. And in all that you do, don't forget to use our hashtag love. love. To See. Love. love. Oh, oh, yeah, we have to teach you that. Yeah, we have to teach him that. Please do. What Please. do I do? Okay, so you're yeah, like you. love. You have yes. to form the love. This is love. Two. Did I form it well? Okay. Let me see. <laughs> two. Two. Love to. Love. Yeah, that part. Love. I have okay, like, that part. I as if you're that. typing. Don't look at Devil's hands. It don't look like he's dancing. It looks like a new dance move. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be right back. We have a short break. When we come back, rappers, Kepta gets up to some community social responsibility. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, hello. You're welcome back. It's still the blog, and we still have the one, the only Obi Wan in the studio with us. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! And then we have Edewo. Haters! Yeah. Haters! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so rappers Kepta helped build a children's playground in Nigeria. Okay, so UK artist Kepta has recently revealed how he helped to build and set up a children's play area mm. in a Nigerian village. It was reported today. 
Mm. The rapper who is born to Nigerian parents, okay, so he's of Nigerian origin, mm -hmm. has been helping to set up the children's play area and has unveiled pictures by his Instagram page. Skepta, real name Joseph Adenuga. Is he related to Michael Adenuga's? Mm. <laughs> Posted the photos via his Instagram account with the message, I want to give them that house in Nigeria. His mother officially opened the playground. Fantastic mm. right there. Now, I want to ask, do you think it is important mm. for you, even though you've moved abroad and you've made your life abroad, to still give back and invest to the community or the society that you grew up in? How important mm. do you think it is? You know, it just strikes me, a young man, you know, trying to connect with his identity, his mm. roots, mm -hmm. you know, trying to find home. I mean, his heart is mm. at home. So he's beginning to come back home and to do something awesome, laudable. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. right. So I think it's great. Yeah. Or yeah, you don't think it's him showing off. Some people have said that sometimes these people do these things just to add to their, you know, image. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a giver. It can be like a publicity stunt. Yeah, stunt, exactly. Uh, that happens a lot. More or less. But uh, I also know that a lot of people, you know, abroad, you know, who've lived, who are Nigerians, who've lived abroad mm -hmm. for yeah. some time, they, they, they want to make that connection. After some time, after you've had some successes mm -hmm. and all that, you want to make some connection with them. Mm. Mm. All right. Now, talking about connections, let me ask you about languages. Do you speak Igbo? Ofuma. Ofuma. Mm. And that should be. Or Diego. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm asking this because some people think that, oh, you know, it's a bit raz to teach your children. Do you actually, um, you speak Igbo. Do your children speak Igbo? They are beginning to learn. Can you, I'm very disappointed. On behalf ah, of will they speak Igbo? But they are for, learning. Will they come out from. You didn't even ask me how old they are. Okay, let's be They will come out learn. from the womb and start. Old let's are know your how children? old so that they can, we can know if okay. they are old enough to speak. Okay, um, I have a three year old and a one year old. Ah. Yeah, the three year old should be rapping Igbo by now. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Papa, I'll give him a So you would know. Chuku Gozezi. When I enter, I say Chuku Gozezi. <laughs> 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 but you know, I'm, I mean, Adele, Adele, yeah. Adele do you, what, where are you from again? I'm Delta. Do you speak I'm your language? Robo. I try. I'm disappointed. I'm, also, bai. I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually disappointed in myself. Uh, I'm assault. I'm assault. I'm like, low, up and down. You know, the thing is that, like, like you, you, you rightly said, yeah. if your, um, your parents get to speak yeah. to you or teach you yeah. the language earlier, then you get, you know, where I, um, my family, we were more of, uh, they wanted us to learn English because they wanted us to be, uh, be able to, you know, communicate, communicate with yeah. the everybody, outside. Yeah. Yes, everybody. So that was why it happened that way. Mm. Mm. So most times, if they're going to be speaking a language, it has to, it will be at home and very, very little. So I feel, mm. I'm not blaming it on them though, but yeah, yeah, well. hey, if we look at it that way, mm. <laughs> it's not like... I understand what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, so we had to learn the English more than the language. I'm very grateful for the fact that when I was growing up, I lived with my grandma for a bit, for about mm, two years. Oh, yeah. And so I okay. learned how to speak. Funny enough, my grandma is Edo. Oh, but yeah. because she lived in Lagos, her communication was primarily in mm. Yoruba with, with her, with, and she didn't speak. Her English wasn't very fluent. Mm. But, um, you know, so I learned, Yoruba was actually my first language. Before I could speak English, I was speaking Yoruba. Oh, yeah. so, well, when my mom came back and she found out that, and you say, uh, Ayo, what do you eat? Majeresi. What? Hey, what is this? What is this? What's going on? <laughs> she now banned Yoruba in the house. In the house. That we had to, but my Yoruba was already solid. You can't speak. <laughs> Some people tell me that Ayo, yeah, but you can't speak. I'm like, don't even try that. Don't even, that was my first language. Wow. So the reason I was asking this question is because just like Skepta, yeah. one of the reasons why you would remember home is probably mm. because I can almost bet that he has that. Probably they were teaching him the culture of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, he can mm -hmm. probably speak Yoruba. So how important is it to teach your children like about their history? Yoruba, Amy? How, 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 Amy? how would it sound? He's a rapper. Amy? He's a rapper. Amy? How would it sound? <laughs> you know, Skepta? they have this, uh, the British Haven't accent. Haven't you heard like, of Lamy yeah, yeah, now? Yeah, no. Exactly, you can see the role that language is playing mm. in our music, you yeah. know. It, it, I, I think it's beautiful, um, not just because, well, primarily because the audience, the first audience, which is at home, can connect mm -hmm. with it. Mm. But I think there's something with the, with the phonic sounds and mixing that mm. with the hip-hop and mm. the R&B that, yeah. that we know that brings out a flavor on its own that's like Niger music mm. and being... 
And that's yeah. something you do quite well. Yeah. You mix, your songs always have that influence of Igbo, the Igbo language. Even mm. with Ebony Bay, yeah. I saw that, I had to ask you what was Ebony Bay. I love languages, yeah. by the way. Ebony Bay. And um, you know, you mix it with English, you're singing in English, and then the yeah. chorus comes and you sing in Igbo. So beautiful. You yeah. know, is that something that's important or is that your identity, your mm. yeah. thing? It's, 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 it's important. I personally, I'm, I'm trying to strike um, some form of balance where I could infu infuse uh, the flavor of my language mm -hmm. in the music without mm -hmm. losing an international audience. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. because at times you could just make it all about the language. The language and, you know, and it can't really it, cut across. Connect yes. and connect, yeah. you know. So, so I'm trying to, I, I'm personally trying to see how that flavor could be, you know, marketable out there, mm -hmm. you know, using the background mm -hmm. of the pop music and urban music, you yeah. know, that we know, if possible. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing. Someone like um, um, Sai comes mm -hmm. out with Gangnam Style. Exactly. And, and Angelique Kidjo. We can't even hear and words. Because nobody understands I'll anything. I <laughs> ask you that. It's one thing to actually sing in your language, but it's another thing to sing in the tune, in the sound of your language. Yes, so are we going to ever right. hear something like, you know, from you, yeah, like not original, just the pop, like the original Ibo, like Igbo sound, like you yeah. want to take palm wine. When you're All that Ibo. kind of music. Definitely. Good. Definitely, you'll hear that in the album that's coming up. Exactly, <laughs> talking about the new album that's coming out. What's the name of the album? It's called Floodgates. Floodgates. The beginning of the new overflow. It has a very long name. Oh, wow. Floodgates. The beginning oh. of the new overflow. How did yeah. you get space wow. on the jack jacket of the... <laughs> writing. <laughs> of the... <laughs> we'll keep writing it. Till we... <laughs> to the back. Till we get it. So, so why Floodgates? Why? How did that come about? Um, uh, okay, I also have to be careful not to let the whole car out. Out of yeah, the just bag. tell us a bit. But I, I always say this: every album, this would be my fourth, mm -hmm. and uh, every album, you know, says something about where I am, you know, at the moment in time in my life, mm -hmm. and uh, where I believe I'm going to. Mm -hmm. So um, it's sort of some new beginnings uh, for me, and I believe I'm going to a new zone. So mm -hmm. let's let's yeah. keep it let's keep it that way. That's okay. Right. <laughs> so what songs, what kind of songs should we expect from the album? We already saw one of them, yes. the Bunibe. Yes. What other songs should people look forward to? Sure. Uh, Bunibe is a praise song, mm. a spectre worship song, a spectre inspirational song, and a spectre love song. Mm. With, mm. Uh, Another one. Yes, with a special guest. I'm not going to let the... Uh, okay. Okay. Are you going to... You, you gonna, will never guess. You will never guess with the person. I don't. Let's guess. So if, if it you comes like, out... mention... Okay. Five million artists, you're not gonna. I know you guess, guess, I'll guess. Is. And if okay. you get it, you have to give us something. Is, is, okay, okay, let's let's okay. Uh, let's narrow it down a bit. Person is a Nigerian? Nigerian? Yes. Nigerian. Okay. okay. Uh male or female? Female. Female. Okay. So it's sort of a duet. Uh okay. Um uh, Lara George. Okay, I go for Yemi Alade, and that's what we're guessing. Boy, it's been fantastic having you Unless you, you want to spend on... the whole time <laughs> <laughs> on the show guessing. I'm telling you, if you call all the artists in Nigeria and be... abroad, you won't be able to get it. Oh, so wow. Worry. We cannot wait for that. Leaving, I mean, what a teaser. <laughs> okay. What a way to leave okay. us, you know, with something to look forward to. Thank you so much, Obi-Wan, for coming. We Thank look forward you. to, you know, the album and listening to it. Thank if people you. want to follow you on social media, how do they follow you? Yes, um, at Obiora, ob one right there on the screen, okay. uh, on Instagram and on Twitter. Okay. And Facebook, search for Obiora, ob one Fantastic. Thank you very much, obi one And you. wish you all the best. Thank you for having me. Okay, guys, follow him, get his album, and let us know what you think when you hear the do it he's done. Why mm. still the blog? We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we have another guest with us in the studio. You need to find out. Now, this is our teaser to you. Guess who it is. <laughs>